Praise the Lord and welcome to Sunday Morning Christian Education. My name is Tere Deloach. I attend Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church located on 4781 Hamilton Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio where Bishop James Chapman is the pastor and where there is a God in Bethlehem and Jesus is his name. Today's lesson is titled, A Backsliding People. The lesson text comes from the book of Judges, chapter 2, verses 16 through 23. The golden text reads, The Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And that's Judges, chapter 2, verse 16. In Jeremiah 2 and 19, it reads, Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God and that my fear is not in thee, said the Lord God of hosts. Google defines backsliding as the action of relapsing into bad ways or error. Google says the Bible says Backsliding is a person who actively turns their back on God and the ways of God. It is basically taking a step or steps backward in your relationship with God. Moving away from the Lord. You're going in the wrong direction. Our lesson says the people of Israel were stubborn. They went backward more than they went forward spiritually. In fact, they would obey God for a while and then slide backward away from God. They kept doing evil things. Then they were sorry and asked for God's forgiveness or his help. Then after God helped them, they did evil things all over again. From one generation to the next, this cycle would just continue on. But because of the love God had for them, he didn't give up on them. God works through people to bring about his will in the lives of others. He raised, he raised up judges to help the Israelites. He wants what's best for all his people because he loves us. True, we are all imperfect and sinful, but God can still use you to be the one who imparts Bible knowledge to people and then show them how to apply it so that they can have abundant life in him and hopefully avoid the pitfalls Israel experienced. From the time Moses led the people of Israel out of slavery in Egypt, the people had seen God do amazing things for them. They saw the Red Sea split open so that, so that they could walk across dry land. They got food that just appeared from God manna from heaven. They saw walls of huge cities just fall down in Jericho. Who wouldn't want to worship a God like that? Even though this was a new generation who didn't experience the things from the former generation, somebody had to tell them something. All the amazing things the Lord had done, somebody had to know something. The miracles and the things the Lord has done was just too great for nobody not to talk about it. Israel was supposed to be chasing out their neighbors who lived in the nations next to them, but they were acting like them by worshiping the idols they worship. Worshiping idols is a sin against God. An idol is something that is worshiped either an object, imaginary God, a person, or anything that is put before or in place of God. And sin is doing what God says not to do and not doing what he says to do. Sin began with Adam and Eve and we have struggled with it ever since. Only Jesus was born without sin and lived a perfect life. Sin is not pleasing to God and it separates us from Him. Sin causes problems between us and God. 
God will correct us when we decide to sin and not obey his word. God created each of us with a conscience so that we know choosing God's way is right. Any, any disobedience choice is sin. Israel is corrected by God for their sinful choices. When you choose to believe and trust in Jesus and live God's way, then you can have victory over sin. The Israelites learned the hard way that sin always has a payday. There is a cost to turning to the ways of the world. He allowed Israel evil neighbors to t attack and treat them badly. They suffered a lot, but it was their own fault. However, God delivered and forgave and saved them. They cried out to God for help. The same God they rejected and abandoned, they now asked to help him, help them. God will see that his righteousness prevails. As a believer, you should strive to move closer to God every day. God gives us many ways to do that. You can attend Bible classes. You can attend Sunday morning services. You can study the Bible yourself. Or you can just pray. Ask God to lead you to Him. God calls us to join His team. And then He commands, directs, advises, and inspires us as we go along. If we refuse to obey our Lord's instruction, we cannot expect to accomplish His work. Without God's protection, we are vulnerable. We are open field for the Satan to do whatever he wants, or at least try. God always does what is best, even if we don't understand. Even when God allows bad things to happen, you will have to be able to see him working in the background, in the shadows, helping you get through the rough times and become stronger as a result. God always provides what we need when we need it. So don't ever leave him because he will never leave you. I hope I have put something on your mind. Until next time, God bless.